Hey guys, hope you're all having a great day. So here's going to be your November update for the Quickfire Hydrangea Hedge. And speaking of quick, this video is going to be quick because it is freezing and I do not have gloves. <laughs> Anyways, so it is right after Thanksgiving. It's actually almost December, to be honest. Um, you can see all of the hydrangeas do not have leaves on them, except for a couple at the top, which is funny because the suckers just grew so much, but they still have a couple leaves at the top. Um, but those are pretty much gone for the season. However, you can see that in the wintertime, they leave these gorgeous seed heads that you could certainly cut off if you wanted to. However, because it provides really nice winter structure, and I'll back up a little so you can see what this looks like from afar, um, they still provide really nice structure for the winter time. So besides those suckers being there, that's what they'll pretty much look like year to year. And you can cut these flower heads off to use for decorating or do whatever you want with them pretty much. Um, but we're gonna end up leaving all of these here until the spring, um, right when their buds start to like, you know, start to grow a little bit, you can tell that they're gonna start putting on leaves soon. And what we'll do is each one of these flowers, um, we're gonna cut back by, probably by like a third or so, I would say, um, and it'll end up growing. You can actually see the little nodes here. Um, what it'll do is it'll, instead of having one branch, it'll actually grow having uh, three different branches there. So all you see, all these branches that you see for this year, there actually will be three times the amount for next year. And remember that these are a panicle hydrangea, so it really doesn't matter how you cut them. Um, you don't have to cut them at a particular time of year, and it's okay to cut them back as well because they always bloom on new wood. They do not bloom on old wood. Um, but it is best to cut them back by about a third every year. It keeps them looking a little more compact, a little more tidy, and they produce really awesome blooms. And they did really well this year. They're only going to do better next year. So besides that, that's really all I have for you in this video. Let me know if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, anything like that. Um, I probably won't be providing an update video until maybe the springtime when we're going to be cutting these back, but I will show that process of doing so. So if you want to subscribe to my channel so you can be notified when I'm going to be putting out that video, that'd be awesome. I would say look for that video probably like the end of February, beginning of March, uh, sometime around there, and I'll show you that whole process. Uh, so besides that, I will see you in the next video.